we're at number 10 and uh, the, end, the last in uh, the Manucci's. Gyaku Yokomen. Gyaku means opposite side. Gyaku Yokomen Ushiro Ski. So you know what Ushiro Ski is. Same thing from the heart, but Gyaku means you strike the other side to what you have been. So. Strike. Same thing, come to the end, and you have all the same points as before. No hole with the hand. These two small finger and the next finger are the ones that grip. Same with this hand. Again, turn or sideways. I suggest you try them both, find out what one you like. The teacher who's teaching at the time, they will criticise you if they don't like what you're doing. If they like what you're doing, and they can see you're doing something slightly different, but they like what you're doing, they'll more than likely let it go. If they're very fastidious and uh, perhaps you know, want it done exactly their way, they will tell you to do it their way. Just modify it to keep them happy. Um, but my advice is find who you are, find what suits you, but don't make it so that you d it's dangerous. You have to look at all the points. Again, you can modify it to how you enjoy doing the Saburis. You, know, you can do this type of thing. You need to look before you start thrusting. This is a weakness. Turn and look first, and then thrust. This one's very important, and it's like the third sabui. It must reach under the... If you hold with these two fingers, your hand won't distort. If you hold with all the fingers, you get this, this problem, this bent, and then it's weak. If you hold with just them two fingers, as long as you don't have this trigger finger, so many people have this trigger, we call it a trigger finger because it's like firing a pistol, isn't it? Or a rifle, that's why it's called trigger finger. Keep that out of the way. It doesn't have to be tight, but it has to be out of the way or else it could get broken. See, there's a gap there, so it's not solid and that will break. I saw Saito Sensei do this sometimes, but he always used to shout to us not to do it, so I'm giving you the same advice. Don't do as I do, do as I tell you. sit under there comfortably. It should sit under the arm comfortably. It should rest there. That's, that's when you know that it's in the right place. It should rest there. As soon as you take your back hand off, it should rest there.
If it doesn't rest there and there's a little crook, then it's, it's incorrect. This stepping forward and this pelvis tip makes that happen better. the window so I can't fully do it with this let it go past in line with this okay so there are the, the five striking movements So that's the first 10. Um, if I think of things that I've forgotten, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything, but if I think of things that I've forgotten, I will try to add them in on another video. Okay? These are all the things I can think of at the time while I'm doing it. Please practice these over and over again. Check the video out. Don't just try and rush through all the videos thinking that you're going to gain all this knowledge. It's taken me nearly 50 years. I'm still developing, I'm still working on things that I get wrong. It's not a big deal to me now. I think, oh well, I'm still getting it wrong. Where all my Aikido career so far, I've beat myself up. Oh, I'm still doing it wrong. This doesn't help you enjoy your Aikido. So enjoy your Aikido, and we'll start the next 10. So, don't worry, I'm going to start.